Good day everyone, and how is everybody doing today? Hopefully you're having a good day, even though the weather is absolute garbage outside. So we're getting an ice storm, we've had it for the last two days. So I figured a nice time to head out to the marketplace and enjoy the sunshine here. And we'll see if we can get another video done here. This will be part two of the steam tunnels. And there she is, looking for my partner in crime. I'm going to ask her to join in. She's been waiting for me. There she is. Now what we're going to do also is I'm going to pick up a helper. So what I'm looking for is a healer fighter. And that's the best way to do it is if you get somebody like a favorite soul because as harlings the favorite soul is much better than a plain cleric now first off is that they have better combat capabilities so if you're doing stuff in solo it's really nice to have that backup but at the same time it's also really nice to have somebody you can count on for your back. So what we're going to do here today is we're going to see if we can get the second part done. And maybe if we just get really lucky, we'll continue on with part three. So I'm going to hold here and I'm going to let my monk go through and clear out this particular section be simply because it's really easy. And she doesn't have too much of a problem with it anyways. And she's done already. So, cleared for me. And we're going to go in on Elite. So, part two of the Steam Tunnels on Elite is a level six quest. So, both of us being level sevens, we don't take a hit on our XP. And I'll show you when I get in. Come on, here we go. So there we are. We're in. Now, here we go. So right now, it's 2140 XP. It's level 6 Elite. And first time doing it is 3852 plus 80%. Good, but you have entered Rieta's Adventure zero times. The highest level player is 7, Adventure level 6. So there's nothing there. But you don't get that bravery bonus. And if you were locked up a good bravery bonus, it, it, it does impact it. No doubt about that. But for us, eh, it's not that big a deal because we get all the other bonuses that are in there. So with that, we're going to start up our healer. And with our healer started up, we are going to see what our daily dice has. As expected, 100 XP. God, I rolled that so many times, is isn't funny. Anyways, so let's give this a whirl and see if we can get through it. Oh, I love Tunis. First fight we have, and we come up against two of the flame touched champions. Yeah, that seems a little odd to me. But what they do is they have a percentage roll, I think, for each person you go up against into a dungeon. So each one has a percentage chance to be a champion. And. This seems to be a rather high percentage of it, but I'm only guessing here, so. Don't know if it's really true, so we'll find out. And the thing you have to be very careful with high links is that uh, when you're going to have them not engage, then you have to have them 
disabled. And basically what that means is she's on guard, or he's on guard here. So with that, I'm going to try and get through this section because all I want to do is run through. I don't want to engage them. I just want to go right through and not be able to enter in combat. But we'll see what happens. If I get held, it'll be a different story. And the hard part is that If you make it through, come on up. Yeah, I made it. Uh -huh. Ouch. That hurt, but not that. There it is. There's the hold. That's the problem. If you make it past the hold, you pretty much got that one in the bag. And then what you do is you summon them to you. Just like that. And that clears that whole thing up. That's probably one of the hardest parts to get through. That and the flames. So we'll see how that works out for us. So if they're behind you, it's not that big a worry. Because they're behind you. <laughs> oh, what do we have here? Oh, plus three dampening. And that's the big thing is once you get past these clerics... If you can survive, and kill your way through, then you're pretty much guaranteed you're going to be okay. Now, I'm breaking boxes here for a couple of reasons. Whoops, you're throwing spears at me. Um, there is a percentage chance in each one you get that you get treasure, but also a percentage chance you get nothing. So, if we break enough boxes, though, we end up with an extra, uh, I think it's maximum is 10% increase on our XP. So that balances off a little bit with the loss that you had by not doing the bravery bonus, which means if I was level 6 doing this, I would get the bravery bonus, but uh, not. So <laughs> it is what it is. And he's it. And this is the first shrine. Ta -da. So, you know be really nice here? When you're doing the solo and you have a second person with you that's not always around, they have a tendency to go FK, which is fine. I knew that ahead of time. Is that you have a bracelet of friends. Now, bracelet of friends is a really cool item. Basically, what it does is it allows you to call people in your group to you a particular number of times. And I think it's 10. So that basically means is that if she lags behind me and I'm ahead in the dungeon, is that I can call her to me and she doesn't have to run all the way down and catch up. So it's an instant inter-dungeon teleportation. I like that. Here's the big problem. Oh, yeah, it would be. Hmm. Let's try this. God, he's so slow. So slow. Luckily enough, I'm a little faster. So, F1. Come on, he'll be back up. So slow with that. Now again, what we want to do, I'm going to freeze him back here and try and get down that tunnel. And if we can, most of them won't chase me. But being as slow as I am, it's going to be interesting. We'll see what happens. Because I don't want to aggro the guys up top yet. Because if I aggro the guys up top right off the bat, I know I'm going to die because there's just going to be too many of them. There we are. There he is. See, as soon as I get in trouble, he fights. And that's one of the problems I found. 
is that come on die is that when you turn around and you tell them to stay in some place as soon as you were injured they automatically run to you which is fine but I don't want them to I want them to that's why I gave them the command stay here and hide and they don't as soon as you get hurt they run after you and the problem is when they run after you they also aggro all the other stuff that's they're running through so kind of semi defeats the purpose of telling them stay put so this is something for standing stones to look into when you give the command here I mean you disable your command and stand their ground they stand their ground they don't come running after you <sighs> maybe it's just because I am dragonborn and they're an elf that they don't understand my words hmm. maybe not <laughs> Good job. Might make it through this after all. And there's the gate key. Yeah. So we're going to go down now. We've got the gate key. We're pretty much okay there. He's got plenty of spell points left. I have two lay on hands left. Now why didn't that cleave work? Hmm. Strange. Things happen. Maybe I didn't click on it enough. But we'll see. Now, come out, come out wherever you are, bad guys. And we've cleaned this area out so I can go back safely and destroy all the containers. Ooh, there's a guy over there. So, up top there's a shrine. I'm not worried about the shrine. Don't stand in my head. That's ignorant. Do, 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 do. So what I've got here is I've got the favorite soul on deck. And I've also got a level 7 cleric with me. But I just haven't activated him. So here we are. This is one of the problem areas. And the problem is here, is we're going to have to sit back and kill these guys off from range, which is fine. And what you want to do is you want to get rid of those clerics. The other archers and stuff like that are not really that big a deal. But it's those clerics that hold you in place, yeah, they're a big deal. So you want to get rid of them first, and then you work your way through. See how many other guys. The more you take out, of course, the less you have to deal with later, which makes sense. Not him, him. There we are. Temporary hit points. Nice, thank you. Take those and run like hello. Okay, rearm. Let's go get them. Come on. Up the bloody ladder. So we only got this one guy to deal with here, which is fine. He's not a champion, so not that big a deal. But up top now, we have two of them. And I want to do is run into the cave on the right-hand side. Once I'm in the cave, I will call him to me. And then deal with the guys that run in. Separating them like this makes it a lot easier to go through. So when you're doing a lot of soloing, like I do, is that you learn you want to separate them just like this. Separating them makes it easier to deal with them one-on-one. -on -one. If you have five guys to deal with, beating on you, it's a lot harder than dealing on them one by one. And as you can see right here, 
I worked through those guys pretty easily. And what's my reward for doing this? Well, that's very simple. Back here, I spotted the chest. Yeah. Yeah, I knew it was there, but there's my reward. Yay. Goodies. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to move on, and we're going to go further into the area. The hard part is, is that when you're moving through, some of the quests you have, you know, 10 or 15 or 20 boxes to break to get those percentage increases. Other ones, <laughs> they're like 80 or 120. I mean, it's a lot. If you end up with uh, a lot of stuff that you get lucky with on your rolls, when you break stuff, that's cool. What are you doing? Okay. Now, my case in point here is, I want to show you. When you're running through the quest for the first time, you have no clue. And what I mean, no clue, so far, we have broken 86 boxes, and we've got zero increase. That's 86 boxes. That's a lot, and we've got nothing for it. So we've got over 100 boxes broken, but it's not enough to give us even an 8% increase in our XP. So run down there, drag those guys up, run back here, and again, we've separated them and then eliminated them. Here comes the whole person. There's the heel coming in. Perfect. There's that one. Clear out the right hand side. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. I have so far broken well over 100 boxes and containers. And my effort comes back is an 8% increase. So 8% of the base. So it jumped up from 4,900. No. So 3,800 plus these percentages could give you a grand total of 49. Which is fine. That's what we're expecting. So we're getting a little boost here. And here we go. Okay, cleric down. Oh, come on, hit him. There we are. Okay, now here's the problem. <sighs> of all the stuff that he's got with him, what can he use to make him better? And out of all the stuff we have, we've got potions and ingredients bag, but not really enough. So we just have what's here, and that's it. Not much there that we can use. We can't use any of the armor to help us at this last fight because it's so high and he's not good enough. So other stuff is just not cutting it. So we have to go at what we have. So basically what we're going to do, that's heroism. That's level 15 heroism. Take a potion, have our spells cast, 
and um, go for it. That's about all we can do. Here we go. Now what I want to do is I want to drag them through. Hopefully he can keep me alive long enough. I can get this done. Kill the cleric, yes, sir. Kill the cleric. Oh, there we go. Come on, there's a good save. And we did it. That was tense. Cool. So, this is part one or two. And now watch what happens here. So, we have 56, 28 XP. That's what it lists here. But it shows the 7,500. And what that is is bonus given to me from the guild bonuses, stuff like that. So, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. One of the things that's going to happen, of course, is that the other monk that's with me is going to get out and come back in. So they clear up the dungeon again. <laughs> she has to go get the steam tunnels done. Because when she showed up, they turned her and attacked her, of course. Which is fine. She's okay. So, that, ladies and gentlemen, is part two of the Halls of Chanticleer. I hope you have a very pleasant day, and if you're out in this ice storm, please be careful. Summer Magician, have a good game.